Welcome. In this video, we'll see the demonstration of multitasking in MUCOS2 real-time operating system. So this is the code for uh, MUCOS2. So in which there are some header files included uh, first at the first. Uh, then we have uh, defined the length of the stack that we are going to include for every task. So here we have defined it as 64. Next, OS underscore SDK is the uh, function which is used for creating a stack for every task. So this is the name of the stack related to task 0. You can give any name to this particular stack. And inside this, you have to mention the length of the stack. So here we have uh, mentioned that length as 64. So since we are going to have four uh, different tasks, we are going to have four different stacks for every task. So as, as many number of uh, tasks are there, those many number of stacks should be there. So for this, we are having four uh, tasks. That's why four stacks. Then uh, here the uh, actual tasks are uh, declared. So uh, the name of the first task will be task 0, then void pointer p data, then task 1, task 2, and task 3. So these names can be user defined names. So whatever name you want to give to your task, you can mention that name over here. And using this pointer variable, we can send some data to that particular task. Then uh, after that, uh, from here the main program will uh, start so here we need to initialize some uh, functions that we are going to use in this particular uh, program so here uh, since we are going to use uh, demonstrate the multitasking operation so what we have done is we have used four leds connected to pin p0.4 0.5 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 and all these leds will be flashing at the same time using multitasking so for that we need to initialize the LEDs and that is done in this function. Uh, so in this just the pins will be defined as pin cell and uh, those four pins will be uh, again configured as output pins since LEDs are connected to those pins. After that the next function is target under a uh, target uh, initialization function. This function is again available uh, uh, in the operating system itself. So it initializes the target that we are going to use. Here, uh, the target that we are going to use is LPC2148 ARM microcontroller. Uh, after that, again, an inbuilt operating system function that is OS in it. So this function initializes the operating system. After that, next we have is uh, the next function is OS task create. So using this function, we can create the task. So whichever task we have defined earlier, the, uh, declared earlier those tasks will be now created so uh, there are four arguments inside this among that first one is the name of the task that is here we have given it as task 0 then whatever data you want to send to that task you can send using this uh, variable uh, this argument uh, next we have the address of the stack so whatever stack we have declared uh, before the address of that stack is sent as the uh, third argument for this function uh, and finally we have uh, priority so lower the number higher is the priority of the task so here among these four tasks task 0 is having the lowest number it means that it is having the highest priority and so on so uh, this is done for all the four tasks and after that uh, inbuilt operating system function that is os start function is called so whenever this function is called the scheduler will start scheduling the tasks and now uh, this that is that is about the main program here the actual uh, uh, task will be written so among that first task is task 0 so in this uh, what we have done is we have taken a, a single led that is the led connected to pin 0 0.4 uh, so for turning on that we have again written an function uh, called led underscore on so whatever number we write inside this that numbered led will be turned on so here p0.4 represents 0 uh, so that is the first LED. that's why uh, we have written here 0 so that first LED will be turned on then the os time delay uh, is called so 
uh, this function provides delay so the number that we have written here inside that that is 16 so this provides 160 millisecond delay to uh, the led uh, turn uh, after uh, turning on the led it provides 160 milliseconds delay then again the same led is turned off using the function led underscore off so just we have to mention the number uh, of the led that we want to turn off uh, again the delay is called so this is for task 0 similarly for task 1 uh, ta the led 1 is turned on that is the led connected to p0.5 is turned on and that is came, kept on for some time that is 80 milliseconds after that the same led is turned off and again a delay is called in the third task uh, that is task 2 uh, we have uh, turned on the third number led that is uh, p0.6 uh, and again a delay is called again that led is turned off and delay is called in the final task we have uh, turned on the next led that is the led connected to p0.7 and again a delay is called and again that uh, led is turned off and again some delay is called so this is uh, how we have written the task now uh, to see the working of this we have to first of all build the uh, program once we uh, build the program we can check the output uh, in the software itself by going in the debug mode so uh, to do that we can click on this debug icon click on ok and here we have selected the logic analyzer so uh, to do that we have to go to setup and select the pins on which you got to see the waveform so once you select those pins uh, you can directly start uh, running the program so now here the waveforms are available so what i can do i can uh, click on all so all the waveforms will be available so now i will click on stop now you can observe that the all the uh, four pins are having some waveform means uh, all the four leds are turning on and turning off simultaneously so this is nothing but the demonstration of multitasking so we can say that mucos 2 operating system is a, a multitasking operating system the same thing can be also visualized in the uh, protis software and for that again we have created one uh, circuit so i have just build this circuit now i can just put that file uh, inside that ic and now i can start running the program so once you click on that the leds will be now flashing so whatever thing we have observed on in terms of waveforms so now that is uh, available in terms of flashing of leds so this is nothing but demonstration of uh, mucos 2 operating system as a multitasking operating system uh, the source code and the uh, protis simulation link is available in the description of this video thank you